learn about the remainder theorem, you should already be somewhat familiar with synthetic division. In a previous lecture on synthetic division, we divided the following. 3x cubed minus 8x squared plus 4x minus 2 divided by x minus 3, and we found a final answer of 3x squared plus x plus 7 plus 19 over x minus 3. In this case, our remainder was the number 19. According to the remainder theorem, the remainder from synthetic division is equal to f of h, where h is equal to the constant in your binomial. Here, the constant in our binomial is 3. So what the remainder theorem is saying is that the f of 3 is equal to 19. Let's try that out with our original equation. Here, we plug 3 in for x. So we have y is equal to 3 times 3 cubed minus 8 times 3 squared plus 4 times 3 minus 2. We simplify this to 81 minus 72 plus 12 minus 2 for a final answer of y is equal to 19. So, according to the remainder theorem, it was correct that f of 3 was equal to 19. Let's say we have our original equation, but instead of dividing by x, by th x minus 3, we're now going to divide by x minus 5. Well, what is f of 5? Here, we simply perform another synthetic division. In this synthetic division, we get a remainder of 193. So f of 5 should be 193. Let's check that. Here, we plug 5 into our equation. So we have y is equal to 3 times 5 cubed minus 8 times 5 squared plus 4 times 5 minus 2. This simplifies to 375 minus 200 plus 20 minus 2 and finally simplifies to y equals 193. So, the remainder theorem was correct. f of 5 is equal to our remainder, 193.